imagine a world where you don't rely on your smartphone device. Instead, everything around you is smart. You wake up in the morning, your blinds automatically open as they sense you standing up. Your coffee machine is programmed to make you a fresh cup of coffee at just the right temperature. You head over to the kitchen counter to get a piece of fruit, thinking to yourself, you need to go get groceries today. Only to remember that your fridge is connected to the internet and knows to order the essentials when it notices items are missing. This is the future and it's happening faster than you think. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about are smartphones going to become a thing of the past? This is something I've been diving into because I find it very interesting and also super exciting because it's not that far off. Before we get into it though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more future tech content as well as coding and career based content leave in the comments some other uh, tech videos you want to see more of. Okay, let's continue to dive right in. Okay, but first, before we can understand why smartphones will become a thing of the past, we need to understand ambient computing. So when you think ambient computing, it's essentially a broad term that describes an environment of smart devices, data, AI decisions, and human activity that enable computer actions alongside everyday life. And most importantly, it does all of this without the need for human interaction. It just exists alongside with us. So when I think ambient computing, I think essentially that computers are existing with us in the background and we don't even really know they are there or we know they are there, but because we're not actively holding them in our hands like we do smartphone devices, it just kind of is part of our overall environment. And we're already using tons of ambient computing in our everyday lives. One example of ambient computing that I'm sure most of us, if not all, are familiar with is the Nest Smart Thermostat. So this thermostat that many of us have in our homes, it operates by detecting if people are walking around in the house, if they are sitting, and based on that, it will set the temperature either higher or lower in the room based on the amount of movement. And this is kind of a form of ambient computing. It's essentially computers taking care of stuff in the background. Or for another example, think of AirPods. The newest AirPods use spatial audio and dynamic head tracking to adjust the sound based on the user's position without needing to manually change any settings. Once again, computers that are operating in the background. Recently, I came across a really interesting advertisement that Samsung put together, and Samsung as well believes that, or according to this article anyways, that smartphones will become a thing of the past. And I think this advertisement, or I don't even think it's an advertisement, but more just to show the future and what it could look like is really interesting to kind of give you a strong visual of what exactly I'm speaking about. So I'm going to put it up on screen here um, and just to give you a sense. So as you can see here, they call it a display centric world. So from your coffee cup being connected to the internet, to your calendar, to your chopping board, to literally everything around you being connected to the internet. And of course, this can raise some really, really interesting concerns and questions uh, that we're not going to fully cover in this video, but I want to make you aware of them. One being, well, if everything around us is connected or in IoT, for example, that brings a lot of devices that can be hacked and a lot of hackers that can see into our homes and into our personal lives. So I'm not saying that this technology is perfect, but I definitely think it is going to become the future. It is the future actually. And that smartphones will no longer be needed because everything around us will be smart. Okay. And you know, I'm all about data and facts and just doing my research as well. And I know you all love that too. So I wanted to share with you this graph here and you can see on the graph from 2014 to 2020, the growth from smartphones and consumer IOT. And it's pretty interesting to see the difference of just how much more IoT is continually growing and quickly growing, may I add, versus smartphones. So for anyone wondering, well, what exactly is going to be the tipping point? Is this going to be in like 50 years? No, this is going to be way sooner than 50 years. This is going to be in the next few years. It's already starting to happen. And when exactly people will adopt or adapt to fully that, it's going to take time. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight, but it's one of those things that it's going to happen sooner than we think, as many technologies do. Okay, let's go and sit down and talk a little bit about what companies are already betting on this and starting in the space. 
Well, for sure, one company that is betting on this is Amazon, saying they are on a race to create the disappearing computer. I have an article which I will put up here. I found it really interesting because this was released in September of 2021, so only a few months back, and it just goes to really show how quickly companies are in, as I said again, the race to really get this ambient intelligence or ambient computing out there as quickly as possible. At Amazon's recent uh, product or gadget announcements that they did in 2021, three ambient, as they called ambient intelligent products that they want to release. The first one, which I will show here, is Astro. It is a two-wheeled robot with a screen for a face. Yes, a screen for a face. <laughs> the future is here, people. Get used to it. So this Astro, I guess we can call it, um, serves as a watchdog. So it is assisted. It is assisted living companion and, of course, a beer delivery vehicle. People, as I just said, the future. Beer delivery robots are here. The second one they announced is called the Amazon Glow. So it's a new kind of video conferencing that projects a play surface and on a table so your grandkids are less likely to wander off, say, during a call. And the last product that is ambient intelligent, as they say, is the Echo Show 15. Well, this one isn't as crazy as the past two. Um, it's still very interesting. So essentially, it is turning your home really into a smart hub by having the screen into a big digital picture frame that you can hang on your wall. So essentially digital or it looks like digital art. Okay, those are just a few examples just from one company. As I said, though, so many companies are on this. Even Apple, I mean, who is the king of smartphone devices, it's, is on it as well. So it's not going anywhere. And I wanted to make this video first because I find it so interesting about what the future will look like and how this will impact us. And as always, I want to bring to you the most up-to-date, recent, interesting, futuristic tech that I possibly can because we are technologists and we need to know what is coming down the pipeline. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on ambient computing and the end of smartphone devices. Make sure to leave in the comments. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related content. Shout out to some of these subscribers here. I see you, I love you. You have been with me for so long and I just thank you so much for your support. Thanks everyone. It's super cool and exciting. No, we're not gonna, no, that was way too exciting.